very surprising, fun, entertaining to drive. 2006 Audi A8. familiar 4.2 liter V8 engine. Uh, in the A8 trim here, this car makes 335 horsepower. Uh, these cars are routed to a six-speed automatic, which is in turn routed to Audi's Quattro four-wheel drive system. This car is built on an aluminum frame. Uh, what that does and benefit to the car is it's probably five, six, seven hundred pounds lighter than any of its counterparts, which makes it a much more nimble sedan. You don't really feel like you're driving a long wheelbase. Uh, you feel like you're driving a much smaller car. Like an A4, if you will, possibly an A6. But uh, this is really a low mile, beautiful car, one owner, and definitely one of the more surprising cars I've spent time in. I'm very, very impressed with this car. So let's take a walk around and get familiar. Just taking a look up front here. Uh, I'd like to call out a little bit of the imperfections. Got a little bit of a scrape on the bottom of the bumper here. Uh, it's minor enough, you don't really see it. I mean, you gotta really examine the car to see it. Um, didn't really think that that was worth uh, Time and effort in fixing just because it's so minor. We could touch it up to hide it if we need to. But uh, beyond that, handful of stone chips across the front. Uh, but five feet away, you can't really see any of those. Uh, paint's really in beautiful condition. Uh, you've got xenons up here. And you also have the park sensors across the front with a pop-out headlamp sprayer there. Well, coming around to the side, this does have a sport package. Uh, I've never actually seen an A8L uh, with a sport package before I'd seen this car. But this is a 19-inch wheel that comes with that sport pack. And you've got a fresh set of Pirelli uh, P-somethings, uh, P-6, these are mud and snows, uh, and they are size 255-40 R19. Great tires, super quiet on the highway, and they actually handle really well. Uh, look at the reflection all the way down there. You can see the little uh, rubber piece on the door handle here, that's part of the comfort access. Keyless entry and ignition, but in the rear, I mean, all the wheels are in perfectly excellent condition. And like I said, that's a fresh set of tires on there, so track's brand new. Around the back, all the badging's correct. There's a couple, you can't, you're not going to be able to see them. There's just a couple of little nicks in here from parking. But again, five feet away, you can barely even see them. I'll bet the camera can't even see them. I uh, do have park rear, or rear park sensors along the lower row here. And then down the passenger side, it's basically one and the same. Paint looks wet, all the bright work is nice and clean. Nice. As you can see, you got a huge trunk in here. You'd expect a huge trunk. Uh, Audi really does package these very nicely. Uh, the fit and finish is fantastic. You can see the panels, everything lines up great in here. Got a 12 volt outlet back over here if you need it. But the original owner equipped this thing with a double set of mats. You got uh, winners, passenger and driver, and then the rears, which are the long wheelbase model because they're a little longer. Uh, then you got a full set of carpeted factory mats. Got both of those for the front and rear, which we'll show you in that picture there. And then, below the floorboard, full-size untouched spare tire. But when you're all done in here, just hit this button, closes the trunk for you. Power trunk closer. The interior here is called Amaretto. Uh, it's really a nice contrast to the blue. It's called night blue, which is a very, very dark blue, but uh, they also have, they call it amaretto and black because you have a two-tone uh, interior based on the fact that the carpeting is black as well. But uh, these are the ventilated and massaging seats. You can see all the adjustments here. Uh, this button actually turns on the massage feature. Go ahead and jump in, but easy step in. A nice diameter steering wheel. The sport package also gives you uh, paddle shifters, but the whole layout's great. You can see the automatic setting for the xenons up there. Got power tilt and telescope wheel. And then looking at the door, you can see the badge here for the Bose sound system, which is a great Bose sound system. I know some of them are okay, some of them are great, this one's great. I got power folding mirrors, obviously power windows and locks, and also a four position memory right there. Uh, awesome driving position, and these seats are so fantastic. I mean, you really can't not find a phenomenal driving position. Uh, gauges are really clean, really clear. Uh, I do like the layout, it's white on black, and then you're then your important uh, readouts are in red, so it's a neat contrast. Uh, whole row of buttons here, we'll get into the MMI in a minute. 
Uh, you do have the front and rear park assist, but if I go ahead and go ahead and hit accept there, if I go ahead and pop it in reverse, you can see that uh, back up on the wall here. You'll see when the wall comes in. It gives you a graphic readout as to where your objects are. So when you get close, obviously it's telling me exactly where it's at, uh, which is pretty nice. Power rear sunshade. Uh, ESP electronic stability program. Uh, this will actually hide the screen if you shouldn't need it, although MMI is uh, their media interface system and that basically is what takes control of all of your media and car dynamics. Uh, as you can see MMI here, you've got these four zones uh, which pair up with the knob right in the middle here. Uh, the knob actually turns, you know, here I'll turn this and it goes dynamic. Dynamic is the most uh, aggressive sport suspension, which actually I found out it lowers the car 20 millimeters. Uh, for better handling. Found that out today. Uh, but you can go through various uh, settings. Got uh, car setup, car. Navigation uh, is not active. Thank you. Let's see, we're going to Biscayne Boulevard in Miami. Let's take a look at the map. See, navigation shows us where we're at right there. And then as far as audio, you hit FM. It'll take you between the bands. Or if I go to CD, there's a CD changer mount it right in here that gives you access to six CDs. This is the L model so the L would be uh, indicative of the long wheelbase model because there's just a regular A8 but man I gotta tell you look at all this legroom. I can slouch all the way down my chiropractor would love this and then uh, get all the way back up but uh, very comfy I do have sunshades all the way around here. Pop that up you got them on that door in the rear behind me and then you also have uh, rear heated seats for the outboard occupants back here and I can check my makeup. From just sheer aesthetics, if you had a blindfold on and could drive a car, which obviously you can't, um, if you just went off of your senses and couldn't actually see what you were sitting in, uh, this car would absolutely blow your mind because the tactile feel of it is so much more of a sports car than that of a large luxury car. You got a small diameter steering wheel. Granted, this does have the sport package. Uh, we got some pretty aggressive bolstering, but uh, as far as luxury cars concerned, what are you hearing right now? Maybe the tiniest bit of like uh, ventilation sound. That's the only thing I can think of that's making any noise. I mean, the tires are almost brand new on this car. Uh, the all-wheel drive system is absolutely seamless and very, very comfortable. But uh, you can see you got the navigation dialed in there. Phenomenal Bose sound system. If my microphone could replicate what it is that we were listening to just now, I would play it for the microphone. Uh, but this is blue over the Amaretto interior, which is probably the color combo I'd buy in. Uh, awesome wood. This is like their medium colored wood. They've got a lighter and a darker and they also have piano black and aluminum. Uh, this would be my favorite out of the wood choices, but here. Going over a speed bump. Actually, I'll tell you what. We got one more. Let me hit it harder. That's what she said. Watch it. I didn't hear one squeak, one rattle, or anything. Obviously a very well put together car and a joy to drive. I have to say that you do not feel like you're driving a large sedan, let alone the long wheelbase version of a large sedan. Uh, it's very, very exciting. And look at it's my grandpa. Wait, no, it's Drew Peterson. Switch lanes here, but my upper back is a little sore, so. Oh, I'm just gonna curl the top of it up there. Oh, that's nice. And then I'm gonna hit my little massage button. And, oh, that feels fantastic too. Uh, this really is a pleasure to drive. It does not feel as if it's half as substantial as it really is as far as dimensions are concerned, but you got a buttery smooth six-speed transmission. Uh, unless you're driving in the snow, you don't know it is an all-wheel drive car because it's so buttery smooth. Uh, meaning that, you know, differentials tend to lock up if you go lock to lock in the wheel, you'll actually feel the four-wheel drive bind. Uh, it doesn't have that issue now. But that's why the Quattro system, that's why they patented that name, because the Quattro system is a very precise four-wheel drive system, meaning it's going to channel the power to the right wheels. So uh, I got the navigation dialed up. Obviously, I got my 
massager going. We're on a pretty rough road, but this even being the sport model, I don't think the sport actually hurts the uh, build quality. And here, we're gonna hook a turn here, 90 degree turn. I feel like I'm in an S4. And Dave's phone just like catapulted across the car. But it's that much of a car. Kind of crazy. A very subdued uh, experience driving this car. This is really a very laid back uh, car when you want it to be. And when I say laid back, I mean just as calm as can be and comfy. The seats are fantastic, got the massage function going with it. Uh, they're heated and ventilated, so obviously you got that to pair with it. And one of the best sounding Bose stereo systems I know of, so. Uh, it's, it's very nice. But here, away from a stop, you know, it's got quattro all-wheel drive. You don't feel anything as you turn. And you don't feel anything from that six-speed auto either. Uh, 4.2 liter V8. Now, that's not a very large displacement V8, but basically that means that this car making 335 horsepower, it's a very powerful version of this V8. Uh, but the smaller displacement also helps the fuel economy. Uh, it's further aided again also by the lightweight characteristics of the car, which mean that you know, you're optimizing your fuel kind of on two levels. Uh, this does, in my opinion, and from my experience in this versus other uh, luxury vehicles, uh, this does get superior fuel economy. I'm a bit of a lead foot, and I average, average in the 20s with this. Uh, that's like unheard of. Considering the advanced technology that's in this car, from the aluminum space frame to pretty much everything that's around it, and all-wheel drive, I mean, they've made these since all, in all-wheel drive since 04, so, uh, spectacular car. To drive it is to understand it. Uh, obviously, I think it's very appealing to the eye, but it drives like no other luxury car, uh, including cars that are on the same platform as it, uh, being the Bentley Continental Flying Spur, and then also the Volkswagen Phaeton. Uh, I got the auto check in. Carfax vehicle history report here does show a one owner on both, and there's nothing else beyond that, so uh, squeaky clean. Uh, this car does have Audi's four year, 50,000 mile warranty in effect until July 31st, 2010. Uh, and we just actually had the car at Audi. Uh, it's fresh off its service, so it uh, doesn't need anything for a long time to come. But as far as equipment, you got premium package, sport package, uh, massage and ventilated front seats, XM radio. And obviously the factory warranty. But uh, to get up close again with this car, check it out on our website. You'll find us at chicagocarsdirect.com. When you're done there, go to our YouTube channel and see the rest of the stuff we've done. YouTube.com slash chicagocarsdirect. Thanks for having some fun with us in this stunning Audi today. We'll see you next time.